Hi everyone, it's me, Lisa, and I am back today for another video. So I just got off of work, but I wanted to come on and do this quick unboxing. So let's just get started. Um, before I start, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who wished me happy birthday here on YouTube and on Instagram. I had a fun birthday weekend. It was September 4th, so really appreciate all the well wishes and I had a great time and all that other good stuff. So thanks a lot, you guys. You guys really made my milestone birthday um, really amazing. So I can't believe I'm actually that old or this old rather, but I'm happy and I'm blessed to be here. So anyway, it is what it is. So uh, let me just get into the video. Also, before I get started, um, my, my Burberry Black video, I understand somehow, I don't know what happened to that. But on the unboxing video, the audio is there, but the video portion of it got stuck. So I'm just going to have to apologize for that. I don't know what happened. I, I don't know. So anyway, it was on my unboxing of this perfume, so I will re-upload it, and hopefully it will work a little bit better. So yeah. Anyway, today's video is going to be on the, I guess you could say the last of my birthday gifts. So of course it's in this bag right here. And I'm sure you guys already know what it could possibly be, uh, but uh, let's just get into it. So I went to LV this Sunday to pick this up, and I had actually gone, uh, I guess a little bit earlier. So just to tell you guys what it is, since I'm sure you guys already know, this is the um, LV New packaging that they have. I hate to say it, but I'm not really feeling it. I don't know. I just like the other one better. Maybe it will grow on me. But, um, yeah, whatever. Um, yeah. So, anyway, here is uh, what I got. And I'm sure you guys already know that it could possibly be a some type of their newest fragrance. Um, I think my lights are probably drowning out the packaging, but um, this is it. And let's just open it. So as you guys probably already know, Louis Vuitton launched their new fragrance line. It came out, I think, I wanna say September 1st. But I actually went in um, earlier and my essay showed them to me before that, so that was really nice of her, and I don't know, they take you up to the second floor in the little private room behind the nice little curtain by the balcony and stuff, and they had all the perfumes lined up, and the perfume connoisseur um, comes in and tells you about each one, her and my essay, you know, the notes and how you smell them and all this other good fun stuff. And then she gave me samples of all of them. So uh, I had her hold this one for me. I'm unwrapping it as I speak. So yeah so anyway um this one they didn't have any more of so she ordered it for me and kept it for me and there's one in particular that i like there are seven of them all together and you know me so i like perfume so much that i change it all the time i basically almost wear a different one every day or if I really like it, I might wear it a couple of days, and then I change it, like I don't have a signature scent. So, 
Yeah, so I just decided to get this. And this is the miniature set. So basically it is a collection of all seven of them. There are seven in total. And that is what it looks like. It has this nice gold top on the top. And then it just says Les Parfums Louis Vuitton on here. I think my lights are kind of drowning it out, but anyway. And then, let's see if I can get the top off. So, yeah. So, I don't know why I'm smelling the glass packaging, uh, whatever. Anyway, so here you go. There are seven little miniature bottles. Each one is, I forgot. Let's see if it's on here. I can't remember off the top of my head how much each one of them is. I should know just um, they are 10 milliliters each. So there's seven of them. And I don't know. I can't, well, I know which one is my favorite. My favorite one out of all of them is this one. The Matier Noir. Um, sorry, I don't free, speak French. So I know I said that probably all wrong. But anyway, that means dark matters in French, and it's this one right here, and my essay said, surprisingly, this has been one of, or the most favorite, maybe, uh, of all of them, that people tend to like, and I just kind of fell in love with this one, because it's kind of the darkest one, a little deep mysterious one. It has like a woodsy smell and a little bit of patchouli but not heavy on the patchouli so it's kind of sexy and just kind of like mysterious. Kind of dark but mysterious. I love it. It smells really different. Um, all of these miniature bottles unfortunately they don't have a spray. They're just like the top comes off and you dab it on. So you could either get these that come like that, or you can get the larger bottle, which was $240. This set costs 290 US dollars. So the regular size is $240. And then there's a larger size, which was, I want to say 300 and something. I can't remember. I'm sorry. I probably put it in the description bar below. And then they also have a travel set that you can get of each perfume. Um, just each individual perfume if you want to get that. And I believe, I want to say that was $240. Anyway, I'm just going off the top of my memory from then. So I'll put it in the description bar below to be more accurate. But anyway, um, yeah, I just like smelling different all the time. So I just decided to get all of them because my mood changes and I wear perfume based upon my mood or what I'm wearing, where I'm going, all kind of different things. So I liked a lot of them, so I just decided to get all of them in this way. So uh, like I said, there are seven of them. My favorite one, like I said, is the Matier Noir. And then I think my second favorite one is um, probably this. Contrary moi, I'm butchering it, but yeah, I like that one. In some weird way, it smells like Play-Doh to me, but in a good way. Kind of has that uh, vanilla, has like a Tahitian vanilla in it. And then there's Apogee, Apogee rather. Um, I think this has like Lily of the Valley, so it's a little fresher, more floral. And then you have this. Stands Le Pew. <laughs> um, it has like a mixture of leather and musk and jasmine, I believe. And let me just smell this one. I like that one too. It smells really different. 
And then we have Turbulences. And this one is like the boldest of, of all of them, like the strongest scent. I like that one too, but it smells similar to something I have and I can't think of it right now. And then there's uh, Rose de Vint, which is obviously by the name has rose in it, um, Bulgarian and Turkish rose. And Milfo, I like that one too. That one has like a leathery smell. I think they said it was mixed with raspberries and another floral flower. Uh, let's see. It smells different too. They all smell really unique and really different. And I liked all of them, so this way, by getting this miniature set, I can get all of them. So, uh, very quickly, this is my last birthday gift to myself the Louis Vuitton miniature fragrance set and I absolutely love it I love the packaging and I don't know I love it I'm happy I'm glad I got it um, she saved it for me like all the vultures and everything a lot of people want this little set and so she specifically saved it for me so I'm really grateful to her I absolutely love 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 my essay she's so sweet and then um, I actually uploaded, well, I taped another video, um, but I don't think I've uploaded it yet. Uh, when I got all these samples when I went in the other day. So I have a lot of samples of all the other ones, and then she gave me some more samples uh, when I bought this miniature kit or when I picked it up. So I'm happy. <laughs> So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back with some more videos. Hope you guys have a great rest of the week, and I will see you on my next video. Bye.